Hey heart friends and welcome back to the Mandakins channel. Today we are learning how to make DIY hair sticks using hot glue and other findings. Let's get started. You will need hot glue and glue gun, quarter inch dowel rods, a measuring tape or yardstick, pencil, method to cut wood like a hacksaw or razor scissors, ice cold water, ice cold water, no ice, pencil sharpener, a method to blunt wood, grinder or sandpaper, baby wipes to clean up, a silicone mat, water-based sealer, I'm using Minwax polycrylic, paint brushes, and your embellishments. Here is a quarter inch dowel rod. I am going to use the yardstick to measure eight inches. You can also do them at six if you prefer. And I'm using a razor scissors and I'm cutting these and I'm going to get four out of this 36 inch length. If you do them at six inches, it will work out perfectly and you'll have six of them. Here I'm using a pencil sharpener to sharpen one side of each of these. This is my grinder and I'm using it to blunt the tips, make sure that they don't poke anybody. Here I'm painting them with acrylic and I'm leaving the top of the hair stick without acrylic. It'll be covered in hot glue so it doesn't really matter. I'm using black hot glue here and as you can see I've taken a length of wire and I've twisted it and I am adhering that to the stick using the hot glue. And then I dip it into the cold water and this will set it the way that I want it. Now I'm going back on a lower setting with my heat gun and I'm creating spirals and building up the hot glue. When I have it how I like it, I dip it back in the water. Starting on the second one, I'm going to create a spiral type look and for that I just scoop some hot glue on and I'm continuing to spin it and I run the tip of my hot glue gun through it and it creates these beautiful spirals. Then I'm using flat back rhinestones and applying them in various places. I like odd numbers and then I'm running another few rope vines down For the next two, I'm going to adhere a clear glass marble to the top using a small amount of hot glue. And then to ensure that it stays on, I create three little fingers or claws to trap the marble. Apologies for some of the video being out of screen. I will make sure in future videos that I have this adjusted to ensure that everything I'm doing can be viewed appropriately. Here I'm making one that looks like it has candle drips and how this technique is accomplished by applying a bead of hot glue and then dragging it up to meet the, the base. Here I'm applying pearl embellishments. These are also flat back beads. Some of them have a sticky back. However, I prefer to use the hot glue to make sure that they're stuck. So I just kiss it with a little bit of hot glue and apply. Once it's to my satisfaction, I put it in this little jar full of like shell chips and this helps me hold them upright. Thank you. 
Now I am cutting a piece of chain and applying a jump ring to a hair clamp and this is what I'm going to use to slide over the end of the hair clip. With the twisted wire that we adhered to the first stick that we made, I have attached the jump rings to either side and I'm beginning to attach charms to it and this can go under your hair. Look very beautiful and dangly. Okay, and for the one with the pearls, I am applying gold leaf. You don't have to use any type of adhesive. It loves to stick to the hot glue. So this is super easy. Uh, these are gold gilding flakes. Which adds a pop of color, a little bit of bling. Once I'm satisfied with how it looks, I move on to the dangle hair stick and I'm applying silver leaf to it. For the candle drip one, I am using this wax rub and it is in rose gold and I'm just hitting the highlights, the raised areas. And so there's basically two methods to color these. Uh, one, if you're using clear um, hot glue, I would suggest painting the entire hot glue area with acrylic, maybe a couple of coats. The second method that I'm going to show you is using this gold acrylic and I am painting it on around all the rhinestones. Then I'm going to heat set it and then I will use the baby wipe to remove everything on the surfaces so that it leaves it in the recesses. So there are at least two different ways. I've also tried using nail polish, which is wonderful. And makeup works well if you have like a loose eyeshadow that you can use your fingers to apply. And that can also create a nice shine. Just some different ideas. Now I'm using Minwax Polycrylic to seal all of the areas that have hot glue and acrylic. Initially, I apply it only to the top part and stick it back in to the shell cup so that it can dry in a vertical fashion. And I do this to all of them. Then I'll come back and I will flip these over and I will set them into the shell cup and I'll paint the tip so that the entire hair stick is completely sealed. Here I am painting the Minwax Polycrylic onto the tips and placing them into the shell cup to allow them to dry. Then I use the baby wipe to clean the outside of the jar and seal it back up. And here are the finished hair sticks. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. My handcrafted work is available in my shop on Makin.me. Makin.me is an artist-centric community and marketplace platform that I developed to help creatives pocket more of the profits from their work. This is an open invitation for artists and crafters and creatives of all types to join the Making Me platform and begin listing their products and services.